Alright guys, after three years away from the Octagon, John Jones is back for UFC 285 and the heavyweight title is on the line. You guys can get in on this title fight against Cyril Gunn and all the action on the fight card with the DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the UFC and today's video sponsor. DraftKings is going to give all new customers that bet $5 or more, $150 in bonus bets if you use my promo code Cormier. So put at least $5 on any pre-fight money line wager on any fighter, and you'll receive $150 in bonus bets if your bet wins. Hey, we ain't just giving money. You bet gotta win. Y'all all say y'all know everything. Gotta win. New customers, bet five, any money line wager pre fight, we'll give you $150 in bonus bets. Deposit it into your account right away if your bet wins. You wanna know what you can do with $150 in bonus bets? Try out our UFC same fight parlays. You can combine multiple bets from one fight like which fighter go win, how many significant strikes they'll land, or anything else. Anything. And if mobile sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still get in on the fun with the DraftKings Daily Fantasy. So all you got to do, guys, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. New customers. Use your boy's promo code, Cormier. Bet five, pre-fight money line wager on any of this weekend's fighters. And get $150 in bonus bets if that bet wins. That's the promo code Cormier. Only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. Say my name. Type my name. And get bonus bets. Let's go. UFC 285. Let's rock. All right. I'm here with the former two-time UFC heavyweight champion, Steve Miocic. This is part one. This time I want to talk to him about the fights this weekend. UFC 285. Champ, John Jones is back, and for a long time, it was going to be Stipe Miocic. Yeah. It, I, I thought for a fact it was going to be you fighting John Jones. Yeah. What happened? Uh, I think miscommunication. Um, I was down for the fight. I just think they went in a different direction every time. Yeah. I mean, it was just, just, just you know, nothing against the UFC. They just trying to make the fights. I get it. And just, you know, unfortunately, it wasn't my time, I guess. And I mean, there was the one time I said I couldn't fight because I wasn't ready. I physically wasn't ready. I had a lot going on. I said, I can't do it in eight weeks. I'm like, I can do it in 12. They said, no, no, it's okay. We'll do it. And it just, it just didn't work out. That's crazy, yeah. right? Yeah. But that, it, it, the first time in a while, I usually was like, okay, thank you. And they were like, cool about it because like, I wasn't going to lie to them. I'm like, I'm not going to take a fight just to get paid. And, like, you know, I, I, it's not about the money. Like, it is about the money, but like, I, also it's a pride thing. You know? I'm going to go out there. I'm going to give my all. And I'll shape my life. And want to win. Yeah, exactly. Because you don't want to lose to that guy. Fuck no. I've done that. And it sucks. Yeah. You know, you don't want to lose to Jones. But when people are – and Ryan Clark and I talk about this all the time. Like, I swear to God, I don't know if you watch, but we're constantly talking about – when they're talking about the heavyweight division, you always seem to get lost. I don't understand why. And how much does that annoy you that in those conversations, when they're talking about the division, very rarely are people going, Stephen me is just a guy. This guy is this. This guy is that. It's always, well, Cyril gone this, or Francis and gone this, well, John Jones is. Does that annoy you that, that people tend to not really put you where you rightfully belong? Yeah, I mean, it does. Um, I get it. I mean, but like, I don't open my mouth a lot. I'm, I'm kind of quiet. I'm still re <clears throat> real reserved. But it, it does suck. And, and but I mean, I, I always believe in fate and it's going to happen. You know, because things will happen. It's been a while because you lost to Francis and. When you lost the Francis fight, generally you get a, a win and a loss. They start looking at a trilogy very yeah, quick. Yeah, a thousand a trilogy. Right? Like, and in our situation, it was, I won, you get a rematch. Yeah. You won, I got a rematch. Yeah. It, always, it just seemed like the dance, yeah. right? So is that why we haven't seen you back? Because you're kind of like, hey, man, I want what I feel is rightfully mine. Yeah, I mean, when, they, uh, when Francis and Cyril uh, fought, they didn't even ask if they wanted to fight. Really? Yeah, I was like. I was just like, I mean, I, I probably would have taken it because I was like, you know, having a baby, I was having a baby and all that. But I was like, hey, at least give me the option. Yeah, what right? about me, guys? You know, like, Dude, it's so. the craziest thing. Like, it's like, just, I mean, because anytime you list the greatest heavyweights, especially in the UFC history, it's always Steve and Miocic. Thanks, man. Right? It's always you first. And it's like, you're still here. Yeah. But what do you have to do to, to remind people that, hey, I'm still fucking here? Like a statement. Just go beat somebody. That's it. Yeah. You know that. Well, 
Fast forward to 2023, and John Jones is finally back. Yeah. All right, like he's finally back. Yeah, like, yeah. It's been a while since he's fought, and he's fighting Cyril Gane for the vacated championship. First off, what do you think about Francis and Gane leaving? I mean, I hope he does well. I mean, I hope he makes that money like he wants. Do you think it's going to be like a? He goes and he fights a Tyson Fury. He's going to get oh, he's Molly. Going to yeah. So is this like a one time? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I will. I will. I want every match. I mean, I hope he does come back. Because boxing, match. boxing isn't like mixed martial arts. Like awesome. you can't go there and get wiped out by Tyson Fury and think that you're gonna have multiple massive paintings. Yeah, yeah. You get wiped, you get wiped out and you're done. Like you can't fight Tyson Fury. Like that's just crazy. That's suicide. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I think I have way better chance <laughs> because you're a boxer. Yeah. Francis throws hard, yeah, but it's oh, not yeah. the most technical of. of no, I mean, he's probably you know gas himself out, and you know it's. I mean, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I, I know you're trying not to say anything bad about the guy. I, I, I think Francis, I mean, like, if he was a champ and you know he's, he's doing better things for himself, I have nothing but the best for him. But like, yeah, Tyson Fury's a different animal. Yeah, he is a different animal. Now we get to Jones versus Surreal Gun. What do you think of this matchup? Interesting matchup just because, you know, you got Jones has been out for three years, been training. He's 250 now. And, uh, you know, he said he still, he still has the speed, but I'm like, ah, that's a big difference. Like, it's a massive difference. And he looks different. Yeah, it looks way different. And, like, like that speed, you might think you're faster, but you might not be that fa much faster. And, you know, it's real. He, he's, that, guy's, that guy's a gamer. You know, you know he throws great. Just like Jones. He throws those kicks like that and moving around all that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's gone five rounds. But, you know, also he's – John Jones, is, he does a lot of – Stuff that no one's ever seen, or he, he catches, he, he sets you up perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel the same way with Surreal. So like, like I'm, as much as I'm gonna pick a fighter in this fight, because I would, actually I would. It's just gonna be depends which fighter, because like you know, the John Jones he's gonna ring rust because it's been three years. I know he's, you know, he just has so many fights, but I don't care who you are. Three years, that's a lot of years. Long time. Yeah. And then Surreal, we'll see what happens then. Does he, does he step up and like I got John Jones, or does he like sink back in? He's like, oh my god, it's John Jones. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of like. Yeah, he told me yesterday he's not a fan of John Jones. He said he said something and it may come up as that, mm -hmm. but he goes, "I'm not a fan because I never followed MMA." Yeah. So he goes, "So I only got to see him for a little bit yeah. before he went on this long hiatus. He's been fighting four years now, so yeah. gone or something." Yeah. So he said he's not a fan of Jones. Uh, so he doesn't really idolize him in that way. But when you look in the matchup, who do you who do you think wins the fight on Saturday? I mean, I think you would go to a game. I mean, seriously. You think, think Cyril's going to win, just, huh? Just, just a little bit, but because I think he's been more active and all that, and I think that, you know, he's, he's a big man. I mean, I think you know, heavyweight's a different different, uh, different, different matchup. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you see, like, his 205 powers beside you. I mean, most of these other 205 powers come in, and they, they're not they're doing well. They're 205 And they're not doing well. I, I know John Jones has got a big frame on that, and he's a big boy, but, like. His legs still look pretty slim. Though. Yeah. Did you see that? Like, his legs yeah, still look yeah, pretty small, yeah, huh? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about big too, but I guess I got short stuff in <laughs> Is it is it is it a little disappointing that you would won't like if Surreal wins this weekend, you don't get the opportunity to be the first guy to put that loss on his record? Yeah, I mean, of course, I, yeah. I mean, I would love to. I would love to cement the legacy even more. But you know, you know it's not what's a good fight, and uh, whoever it is, I'll take where the winner is. Yeah, I'll beat that ass. But then, do you have anything like if whoever wins, like you're going to be the next guy? Yeah, I mean, at least me, July. To you about July. Oh, so July, it's already like yeah. They said they said. Uh, International Fight Week. You versus the winner. Yep. That's what I was told. So. That's big news right yeah, there. Yeah. You, you, you. See, this is the shit I'm talking about right here. That's why you bring Steve in. You know what I'm talking about? So International Fight Week, you take somebody, whoever it is that wins that championship. It's a big deal. Yep. And it's exactly what you wanted, right? Exactly. Because you're not just trying to fight anyone. No. Have they offered you other guys over the course of this time? Yeah, but uh, it wasn't like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm like dropping myself lower, but like I, I want the bigger fights and yeah. I, want, I want to fight for the gold because, like, I, I set myself to be up for fighting for the gold. Why wouldn't I want more? Like, well, why would it. I take a step back and take a chance when I, have, you know, I could win it right there? And I've done yeah. it how many times? I fought like seven times, eight times. I was. That's exactly what I said after we fought. I was like, "What am I going to fight for? I'm not fighting for the belt." Yeah. It's like you only want to fight for the belt once you fought for the belt and you've made the money as the champion. Yeah. Nobody wants to go back to making yeah. five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Like no chance. Like yeah. Yeah. take your five hundred thousand yeah. dollars. You, it's, listen, I, I'm grateful for it. There's no it's question. It's a lot of money still. Yeah, but, but it's like once you've made championship yeah. money, you're like, I'm not going back to 500. Cheap. I'm 100. I'm 100%. Yeah, and like you say, you, you fight someone, say the eighth, tenth, right? Nothing. I'm saying they move their way up. Say you slip on a banana peel and it was in your night, and you get, you get caught or you just lose. Now you drop even more. Down you start there. getting that feeling like I'm here to prop this dude up. Yeah, right. And right. I'm not really, I'm not really down for it. Me either. So John Jones, 
Cyril Gan fight Saturday night. You think Cyril Gan gets it just, just by, but that's you, you, you as one man. Yeah, but like I think very close, very close because, but it might change by tomorrow or on Saturday just because I just, I think just because he's more active and all that. Just that's the way I look at it. Yeah. Well, you're here to do DraftKings. Yes. They're going to be the sponsor of this video also. Thank you. Uh, can I have anything? I mean, look, you want to be an analyst now? Now this guy's over here doing TV now. I, you know, took the belt back from me. Let me borrow for a little bit. And now he taking my, he want to take my TV job. I can I have you. anything? I bless you. You have, you, have a, you have an amazing wrestling team. You're a great coach. You probably coach wrestling too. No, God, no. I'm terrible at coaching. <laughs> I'm like, that. yeah, grab the leg. Put it, yeah, there you go. I, mean, like, I would just recruit all the good kids and not coach. I just have someone else coach them. Oh, my God. You would get fired. Yeah, you like, can't not recruit. Yeah. Coaches don't cheat. No, no. Do we not didn't, recruit. No. Don't be like Steve no, A. Let's lie. Hey, we're all going to be watching UFC 285 this weekend. This guy right here has a keen eye on the main event because – as he just said, in the National Fight Week, he's fighting the winner. And I cannot wait to call him. Stipe, thanks for checking in with me, man. I appreciate it. Guys, until next time, like, subscribe. Tell your friend to tell their friends that DC got a YouTube channel. Till next time, peace.